And listen, I'll tell you, the headline eight interest rate rises in the next two years should shock many people with big mortgages, and it's designed to do exactly that. The man making the prediction is one of Australia's best economic thinkers, Dr John Edwards, former Chief Economic Advisor to Paul Keating as Treasurer and Prime Minister, former Chief Economist of HSBC Australia and on the Reserve Bank Board until last year. Now, John Edwards is no slouch, but you'd do best to read his essay for the Lowy Institute before jumping to too many conclusions, because John Edwards is stating the bleeding obvious. Official RBA rates are now at emergency record lows of 1.5%. But if the economy starts behaving normally and Reserve Bank forecasts suggest it might do that in the next couple of years, then rates will inev inevitably rise back to normal settings. Eight rate rises in 2018 and 19 would take the cash rate back to 3.5%. So a mortgage now paying at 4.5% would rise to 6.5% or so, more like normal. So say you have a half million dollar loan over 25 years at 4.5%. It's now costing you 2779 a month. If Edwards is right and the rate goes to 6.5%, you'll pay 3376 a month, $600 more. That's $7,200 a year. Now, there's a few things you can do about this. If you think it's right, you could take out a fixed-rate loan. Problem is, you'll end up paying more today. Try to protect yourself against paying more tomorrow. A new home buyer, though, I think should do exactly this with a big chunk of their loan. The other thing, and already many people do it, is pay off your loan as though rates already are 7% plus. In other words, get yourself used to the pain. If the rates do move higher, you're already there. Now, John Edwards is conscious that many households have taken on substantial debt, and he says quite rightly that if rate rises drag on households and the economy, the RBA would slow the rate rises down. But meantime, be prepared. You have been warned. The Dow Jones up 143 points, dollar 76.4 US cents left.